In this video, we're going to explain PITI and why that's important to you. When you pay your mortgage, you'll see that you have an escrow account that you're paying into as well. The first part of your mortgage you pay is your principal and your interest. The second part is the escrow, which covers taxes and insurance. Let's look at the details. The principal part of your mortgage is the actual cost of the house before any interest is added. So if you paid $250,000 for the house and you took out a loan for $200,000, your principal is going to be $200,000. When you pay a payment to your mortgage, you're paying a portion of that principal. The interest is the amount of interest you're paying on that $200,000 loan. So if you had a 3.25% interest rate, that's the amount you're going to be paying on the loan. Of course, when you first start paying your mortgage, the most of your payment is covering the interest amount. As time goes on, the interest amount goes down and the principal starts getting paid off quicker. That's that amortization. The T stands for taxes, and that's the property taxes that you're going to pay on your new home. So if you have a home that's worth $250,000, then the county will assess taxes for you and you'll pay those taxes as part of your escrow. The second I stands for insurance. That is the insurance on your property. So it's the hazard insurance or homeowner's insurance that you pay. And you usually have a different company that you're paying homeowner's insurance to. That would be escrowed as well. And so you're gonna pay a portion of that homeowner's insurance every month when you pay your mortgage. And what will happen is your mortgage payment then from the money accrued in your escrow account, you will pay your hazard insurance annually. So you're paying monthly into your mortgage, but the escrow account will pay your homeowner's insurance annually. It's important to know what the PITI is going to be on your new property before you close, of course, because you need to know that you can afford it. So what your loan officer is going to do, they will figure out with your PITI how much you can afford and they will let you know then what the maximum loan amount is. They'll use some assumptions for taxes and for insurance and what they'll do is they'll go by the purchase price and then they'll subtract your down payment and then they'll be able to calculate the interest and they'll be able to give you a monthly amount that you'd be paying. So of course to do that they need some figures on what the property is you're going to buy and how much that's going to cost. Once they've done that, they'll use that in terms of coming up with something uh, with your debt to income uh, so that they can see that you can afford the mortgage that you're looking for. We'll learn more about debt to income in another video. We'll cover that and the other two important ratios that you need to be aware of. So let's look at how we calculate the PITI. Let's say we purchased a house and that purchase was for $250,000. Our down payment, we're going to say is 20%. So we take that $250,000 and times that by 0.2. It gives us $50,000. We're going to do this loan over 30 years. And so our loan amount is going to be the purchase price minus the down payment, which gives us $200,000. Our interest rate is going to be 3.25%. And then we're going to estimate some taxes. So if we take the total amount and we times that by 0 0.005, what we'll see is uh, we come up with a, a sensible number of $1,250 for our taxes. Now, of course, your taxes may vary, and so you can look these up. If you go to a county site, you can actually look up and see how much you're going to be paying for your taxes. Again, we're going to estimate our insurance. So annual insurance is going to be uh, the total amount, and we're going to multiply that by 003, and that's going to give us a rough estimate of $750. So if we take the $1,250, divide that by 12, we now get a monthly amount for our taxes of $104.
and a monthly amount for our insurance of 6250. Now remember we're just estimating these. If you if you wanted to get a quote for your insurance, you could do that. And if you want to look up your property taxes, you can certainly do that. Now here comes the most complicated part of this. It's not too complicated. There's actually a formula in the spreadsheet called payment PMT. And so the payment amount is going to be the rate, the interest rate, and the number of uh, payments and the loan amount. So what we do is we take the payment and we uh, enter the rate, which is 3.25%. And we divide that by 12 because we want to be monthly. That's the annual rate. We're dividing that by 12. Then we take the number of years. So in this case, it's 30 years. Now we want to get months. So we times that by 12. So that gives us a 360. And then we take our total loan amount, which is this amount, the $200,000. Once we do all of that, the spreadsheet will automatically calculate the principal and interest. So the principal, interest, taxes and insurance are simply a matter of taking that principal and interest, adding the insurance and adding the taxes. So we do that here. We sum the taxes, the insurance and the principal and interest and we get our total amount of $1,037.08. Now, if you have a spreadsheet, you can put that same formula together and do your own calculations. Or if you're having trouble with that, you can always contact me and I'll help you with it and we'll come up with a solution. So if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. There'll be loads more videos coming. There's loads of topics to cover and we'll be making videos weekly to cover those topics. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, and I appreciate you watching.